Question for you. Have you seen cars on the highway advertising sports drinks like Red Bull? One tri-state woman decided to try making money advertising on the side of her car. Consumer reporter John Matteries has her story, but first, a warning about a big Valentine's Day scam. That's not nice, John. No, not nice at all, Kristen. <laughs> you know, Wednesday is Valentine's Day, but Ohio's Attorney General is warning about sweetheart scams, which he says have taken money from hundreds of Ohio women. It's also known as the romance scam or catfishing. Mike DeWine says beware ads for good looking businessmen who happen to live out of town and they can't meet you in person. You see, the photos are all stolen. DeWine says these are online scammers who just want to take money from you and break your heart while doing it. Imagine a place on the Internet where very few good things happen, but where criminals trade in stolen credit card numbers, social security numbers and identities. It's something called the dark web and it's real. The dark web is a hidden side of the Internet that you won't find on Google. It's a place where criminals trade freely in stolen credit card and social security numbers, and it's all untraceable. But tonight at 11, I'll show you ways to protect yourself from these criminals and some simple steps to keep them out of your credit cards and your bank accounts. Many tri-staters would like to earn some extra money. So how about a few hundred dollars a month to advertise popular sports watches on the side of your car? Well, that's what a Harrison woman signed up to do, but wait till you see what happened next. Vicki Gildea loves her Ford Edge, but doesn't love her monthly payment. That's when she saw an ad on Facebook for getting paid to place ads on your car. $500 a week and I could do it for a month or three months. So Vicki applied and soon received an email saying, Well, congratulations. It sounds like you qualify. We need a few questions answered. Vicki says the man who contacted her was very thorough. He asked her what kind of SUV she had, if it was clean, and what her driving record was like. She says it was very much on the up and up at first. Had I had any wrecks for a while? Do I drive my car very much? Hours later, she received this overnight package. Inside was a check for more than $4,000 to pay a detailer to wrap the car with ads for Casio wristwatches. They said, I just deposit the whole thing. I keep 1000 um, send them 3700 in a certified check. Something seems strange, so she called a friend. And got on the phone and said, Vic, don't do it, don't do it, it's a scam. Good advice. The Better Business Bureau says this is the car wrap scam. The check is fake and will bounce after you wire money to the bogus detail shop. Sports watches, energy drinks, and other companies don't solicit people to advertise on their cars. But Vicky says the scam's so real, it's scary. And that looked like a real check? Real legitimate. I mean, I would, wouldn't question it. It's very legit. Yeah, sure is. Now, most of the wrapped cars you might see on the highway, they're driven by employees of that company. Most companies don't want strangers driving around with their logo on their car for obvious liability reasons and the risk of having a crash. Speaking of driving, it is Cheap Gas Monday. Prices down a bit. Ron McKitty says the Verity Fuel Mart in Middletown is down to 217 today. Bob Apke says BJ Express on Reading Road and Roselawn is 219 in Kentucky. Kermit Balmer found UDF in Florence at 242. And our friend in Indiana, Terry Hankenburns. Can't forget Terry. He spotted 244 at UDF in Lawrenceburg, so you don't waste your money. Kristen?